lavender colored juicy bag for $19.99. I thought that was absolutely adorable. And then I found this really cute luggage piece for $37.99. And then they had a ton of little mini bags in stock. So I just, just left Burlington and oh my gosh, you guys, I'm like, I don't know, I'm almost kind of speechless. I cannot believe that I actually got to meet one of you guys, one of my subscribers. Tina, you were so sweet. If you're watching this, I seriously cannot say how much it made my day to talk with you and meet you. And um, she said she actually found my channel while she was in the hospital recovering and that she loves watching my videos. She loves pink stuff. And she said that I was inspirational and honestly, that means so much because a lot of times, you know, I just have a small channel and I know I post a lot of like materialistic stuff and sometimes I wonder like, do people think it's superficial? So I don't know, it was just very humbling to hear somebody say that, you know, that it does bring them some type of happiness, my videos. And yeah, it was just, I don't know, I think that's the craziest thing ever. I live in a small town and to actually meet someone that watches my videos. I already feel like I'm friends with you guys on here, but to actually, I mean, I wish I could meet every one of you. So. I don't know. I just thought that was really cool. That seriously just made my day so much. So yeah, so we're going to head off to the next store. She actually told me that there's a t another TJ Maxx right up the road. So I'm going to leave Burlington and um, probably go to TJ Maxx next, I think. But yeah, you guys, I'm so excited. I cannot believe I got to meet one of you guys. So I decided to go ahead and go to the outlet malls and we will probably go to TJ Maxx next, but I decided to just go ahead and go to the outlet mall and check out Kate Spade. So next up I went in Saks and I went by the Louis store in YSL. Unfortunately I couldn't film in there. I really wish I could but and then next up we are going to go in Sephora. So 
So I was super excited to see this Sephora. It's one of the biggest ones I've been in so far and they were fully stocked on most of the Dior stuff that I had been looking for. And I was checking to see if they had any of the new Too Faced bronzers in stock, but I guess they haven't came out yet. So next up, we're going to go in the Victoria's Secret Pink Store. I love the aesthetic of this build and I thought it was so pretty. They were still having a major sale on all of their body care. Everything was two for 22 and you guys spot the bag. So you get a seven, it's $7.50 if you spend $15 in body care, you get that super cute pink and yellow bag. Next up, I was really surprised to see that they actually had wallets in the store because a lot of times the Victoria's Secrets don't carry them in stock anymore in the stores. They had robes that were on sale for Mother's Day. And you guys, every time I go in the store and they have these gorgeous perfume displays with those huge perfume bottles, oh, I wish I had one for my beauty room. Okay guys, the bags are starting to add up. We've got another Burlington and another Ross on my way home. So we're gonna head out from this summit where we're at now. And yep. So we just got out of the Louis Vuitton store. We went in Saks, we went in Sephora, Victoria's Secret, Kate Spade. The Louis Vuitton store, oh, I wish you could film in there. They had the Sunrise Pastel collection. They had the marshmallow bag and the guy brought it out so I could look at it. Uh, I just wanted to see it in person. So gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, I was looking at the bag charm that they had and I almost bought it, it was 300, but then I figured that would be crazy because I don't even have the matching bag. Ugh, what it would be like to just go in there and be able to buy something. Um, but Kate Spade, I was a little bit disappointed in Kate Spade. I did buy something in there. I was a little disappointed though because they didn't have that big of a bag collection. Usually the outlets I go to were like stocked with stuff. And uh, Sephora was good, they actually had like that was one of the biggest Sephora's I think I've been in. They had everything in there. They actually had Dior in stock, which was surprising because my local Sephora never has Dior in stock, not much. And Victoria's Secret, I got a couple things there. So yeah, this is gonna be a pretty good haul once I get everything together. It's been weeks since I've been, like I've been trying not to buy too much. You know, used to I would just go in stores and just buy whatever. And I've really just been trying to cut back and only get things that I really want because I mean you got mortgages to pay for like I just think about a lot of wasteful spending that I used to do and I'm trying to cut back is more just like treating myself building up and treating myself you know but yeah so we're off we're off to the next place I really need to come back here again it's been like six months since I've been to any outlet malls I think the last time I was at an outlet mall was actually when we were on vacation so I'm glad I made the trip down here but yeah we are off to our next stop now So next up, we're in Nordstrom Rack, and the last time I came to this Nordstrom Rack, they had a ton of Too Faced makeup, MAC makeup, and I noticed this time they didn't have too much as far as like more higher end brands. It was more kind of on the lower end, like drugstore stuff. So in a second, I find a Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I couldn't believe it, but it was actually full price, the same as it would be in stores, kind of weird. So I thought this little pink MK bag was really cute. This was 119, I think. 
and then I didn't really see too much else when it came to their bags. I was a little disappointed. They did have a couple of cute guest bags in stock, but nothing that just like really caught my eye. They had some Steve Madden and guests and a couple Betsy Johnsons, but that was mainly it. So next up, there was a JC Penny close by and I decided to go in there and look for some Juicy Couture stuff. So they did have a lot of cute PJ sets. They had some of the terry cloth ones, and then they had a lot of ones that we've seen in Ross before. I thought this blue set right here was really, really cute. Most of these PJ sets were anywhere from like $25 up to about $39. I thought that pink long sleeve was really cute. Unfortunately, it's summer, so I don't need it, but I did think it was really cute. So next up, we're heading into Ross, and I noticed they had a pretty good bit of Juicy Couture in. They did have some makeup bags. They had a good bit of wallets. They had this pink bag right here. This one was $12.99. Wait, no, I'm sorry, $9.99. Really cute pink and gold logo. And then I found this baby pink wallet right here. This one was $14.99 if I read that right. And then they also had some of the little black ones we've seen a lot of in the red and the brown monogram. And then coming up, I found this really cute gold one that was $9.99. And then the lavender one that we've seen the past couple weeks right here. So I actually went to two Rosses that day, so some of these would be just kind of blended in together. This is the second Ross that I went to, and I didn't really find too much on the makeup bag aisle, but they did have some wallets and some luggage bags from Juicy Couture in here. So like I said, I went to two different Rosses and this is just kind of a little blended kit clip of the second Ross. They had a lot more luggage at this one, not as many bags. And then I checked out the shoe aisle. I found these really cute Juicy Couture slides for $14.99. And then I noticed they had some of those blinged out Juicy Crocs for $15.99.
Next up, we're headed into TJ Maxx and walking in, I immediately spotted a bunch of Coach and MK bags. This pink one up top was 129, I think. No, 119. And then they had that white Coach bag for 149 and didn't really see too much in the wallet section. Nothing like really stood out. They did have a lot of Steve Madden. Again, seems like they've been getting a ton of Steve Madden here lately. I thought these little MK, I guess you'd call them like a little fanny pack. I mean, I probably wouldn't wear one of those, but I did think it was cute with the colors. Those were $74.99. And then I wanted to check their perfume section and see if they had anything new in. I noticed a lot of people have been finding the Marc Jacobs Daisy perfumes, and I was hoping I would find some, but I didn't find any at this one. And then they had some Juicy Gatorian. I noticed they had some Glam Glow. This was $30 for that Glow Star starter and then I noticed they've been getting in a ton of elf stuff here lately too Next, I found some Juicy Couture lotions for $5.99, and then I found a MAC Fix Plus for only $14.99. So next up, we're going to head into Home Goods. So they had a ton of cute chairs in. I started to get this one for my vanity, but it was almost like it was a little bit lopsided and it was 179. I thought that was a little high. I thought this little ottoman was super cute. So it was only $60 and it didn't have any scuffs or marks on it. Thought it was adorable and a pretty good deal for only $60. And then I noticed they had a ton of furniture in. I was really hoping I was going to be able to find that one baby pink ottoman that I've been looking for. But I didn't see any. All they had were gray and that square pink one. And I'm looking for a round one so it didn't work out. I thought this Vogue book was super cute for a little coffee table. And then they had these little style books right here for $40 I think. 
and then yeah forty dollars and then they had a lot of spring candles in tons of mother's day mugs if anybody needs a last minute mother's day gift definitely check out home goods they are stocked up So I'm back home. I had to switch into some comfy clothes. I'm about to eat dinner and I got a bunch of stuff today. Normally I would do this haul at the end of the vlog, but it's a pretty good bit of stuff and I haven't edited this vlog yet, of course, but I'm pretty sure this is a long one. So we're going to do a part two, which will be a girly haul and that will be on my next video. So make sure you're subscribed and you have notification bells on. I haven't bought anything in weeks or not a lot of stuff. So I kind of I kind of went in today and I got some really cute stuff. I can't wait to share with you guys. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any more requests on stores you'd like me to go to, definitely let me know. If you enjoyed today's video, leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Other than that, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I will see you back here on the next one. Bye, guys.